hello everyone this is Saidi who is going to be taking you uh, in this class if you s you have our book or uh, the booklet go to page 166 uh, 270 if you don't have a book join our whatsapp group uh, you will get the booklet from there or visit our website www.thandamovies.com or you can go to our facebook page thandamovies look for our logo then you'll be able to uh, join us this program is being sponsored by royal college at 12 goldman street florida and the thunder movies is a work from home project let's look at um our first class uh, concerning about genetics before you do anything about genetics what you need to know is what is genetics genetics when you talk about genetics you're talking about the inheritance of uh, characters from your parents so the transfer of the genes from one generation to another uh, when you're studying that then it means that you're studying what you call genetics but you need to know some terminologies number one is a gene what's a gene a gene is a portion of DNA which controls a certain character or a particular character sometimes the character is called a trait so if you look at uh, this diagram you'll find out that it uh, this is DNA and then this DNA if it has the histone it forms what called a chromosome and find out the chromosomes are found in the nucleus of so, uh, a gene, if you look at this DNA, DNA is too long, and then it has a specific portion uh, from one, this point to this point, <coughs> it's a gene which controls a certain character. So, um, maybe you, your height, your skin about is height, yes, is height, and then this height, you can be tall or you can be short. So what does it mean? This, the whole of it, is a gene, gene for height, but you have an alternative form, which is tallness or which is shortness. So if you look at this, this one becomes an allele, and also this becomes an allele. So an alternative form of a gene is called an allele. So the, 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 the gene for height, it could be uh, maybe uh, represented by capital H, yes. I can have the tallness to be capital H and then the shortness to be um, capital H and then the shortness to be small h. So it means that uh, this is an allele and then this is an allele, therefore a gene is expressed in different forms so you can express as tall or you can exp it can express as short so how do you call this so this is an allele for tallness and then this is an allele for shortness then when you look at um, another part which you need to know is homo Zygous. When you talk about homo, it shows you the word homo, only the word homo means something which is the same. And then this one comes from the word zygote. So it, in this case, the zygote has two alleles of the same kind. For example, you can be tall, yes, but your tallness, it could be capital T, capital T. So we say that since the, the alleles are the same, it means that you are homozygous. Or you can be short, yes. In this case, you will be small t, small t. So what does it mean? It means that the this is for homozygous and also this is for homozygous. So uh, if the two alleles are of the same kind, then we say that they are homozygous. But if they are of different kind, then we talk about something. So if I have, for example, uh, you are tall, yes, but you have a capital letter, and
and then you have a small error what does it mean it means that your alleles yes your alleles are not the same you have that for turnings and you have that for shortenings what does it mean it means that the alleles you have the alleles you have they are different therefore they are hetero when you say hetero it means something which is different so alleles which are different then we call them hetero because you are describing the condition of a zygote therefore we say that this is heterozygous dominant gene has two alleles whereby uh, for example you have tallness you are tall yes your tallness has two alleles you have the capital t and then you have the small t it means that you are heterozygous so uh, this allele which is capital era we call it a dominant allele so if it is a character then if we say that tallness is being expressed or is being represented as capital T it means that this allele for tallness the character which it describes it means that that character is dominant and then the allele for shortness which is a small error then it means that the character it tries to describe then it means that is a recessive so uh, when you talk about a uh, recessive allele it means that this one which is a capital error becomes a dominant and then this one which is a small error becomes a recessive so you can be um, in this case you can be homozygous uh, tall it means that you have two alleles these alleles are of the same kind for example you have two alleles of that kind homozygous tall it means that the the, 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 the character you have is of the same it has two alleles of the same kind or you can be homozygous short it means that you are totally short you are purely short you are purely tall what does it mean it means that you have two alleles of the same kind then when you go to uh, phenotype phenotype uh, it means that you describe something in terms of what you see physical expression of an organism or description of an organism in terms of physical appearance I'm short yes it, it means that you see me as short I'm tall you see me as tall however I can be tall when I have the gene for shortness so if you describe an organism in terms of the genetic composition or in terms of its genes then it means that you are describing what you call a genotype so in terms of this for example you could be yes tall yes this is the phenotype i see you as tall but if i change this into the genetic composition that okay you can be tall with with um tall heterozygous or you could be tall homozygous so it means that this individual is tall but has an allele for shortness but this individual is tall is purely tall has no allele for shortness and then i can be short short yes and i describe you in terms of the genotype so what does it mean it means that i'm going to express the shortness in terms of the gene eh? the gene type that's why it's called uh, which gene type do you have do you have that one for for tallness or for shortness so in this case since uh, shortness is recessive then it's going to have what you call uh, homozygous recessive then um, when we go to monohybrid monohybrid this one uh, it tries to indicate a cross uh, mono comes from the word uh, one and then hybrid means you cross two uh, two alternative forms of gene and then you produce uh, a resultant so a hybrid means a resultant so uh, for example I have tallness tallness capital T capital T I cross it with the 
shortness yes small t small t but what happens i want to get the hybrid of that the hybrid of that for example i'm going to have this combines that maybe this, if this is the father and this is the mother then this combines this and then i get uh, something like a mixture of the two alleles so it means that this is a hybrid i've used one character which is height then it means that it's one character therefore it's mono and then what i've obtained is a hybrid of the two alternative forms of the gene the gene is a height and then i have two alternative forms which is tall and then which is also short so the mixed and no, the resultant of the two alleles is what called a hybrid so if i cross I have a cross and I use one character then it means so uh, one character then it means that is mono hybrid but if I use two characters in this case if I use two characters then I'm going to have a die hybrid cross for example in this case I can have maybe skin color skin color I cross it with uh, the head I cross it with the Height. For example, uh, in this case, uh, two characters have skin color. I could have, I could have uh, the light skin, light, light skin. Yes, you are light skinned and and yes, yes, you are light skinned, but you are short. Yes, I cross it. Then I have. Uh, I cross it with with maybe a dark skinned a dark skinned I cross it with maybe maybe dark skinned and tall so since I have two characters that is uh, skin color and height then it means that this is a die one character which is skin color plus another character which is height when i combine these two i have two characters which means a die but when i cross these two these two i can be light skinned and short and then dark skinned and tall so if i cross the two i produce what you call a hybrid so this hybrid since it is dealing with the two then i have what you call a die hybrid cross then when we talk about the locus locus is just a position of uh, a gene on a chromosome i have these chromosomes yes uh, don't mind about the crossing over I have this position this gene this first gene is in position c the second part of it is in position b the third part of it is in position a you understand so the position of gene for example if this is size uh, of the body this is the size of the uh, maybe the intelligence this could be maybe the height so the position of these genes is what you call the locus so if there are many position for example position of a is locus position of b is locus position of c is locus but if i combine all of them then I call them or we call them loci the plural of it is loci if it's one is locus if there are many we call them loci last part of it is the karyotype karyotype means description of arrangement if you look at it you have the arrangement how are they arranged yes the number how many are they one two three until 22 you talk about the arrangement the number and the shape or size of uh, the chromosomes in a cell so if you look at this this is a karyotype we will see whether it's a karyotype for male it's a karyotype for, for female but when you talk about some students they confuse the karyotype the gene genome and then the uh, genotype the, some students they confuse uh, those three things but in this case when they talk about the karyotype you must talk you must
think about the size the shape and the arrangement okay size or shape number how many are they and then how are they arranged yeah, in the cell so we call that one uh, karyotype so basically that are the some of the terminologies you need to know thank you very much you are still with thunder movies education color in gene you, you find it that it has two forms it can be uh, for example if the gene they are talking about